It's a, it's a subject I hope to see edu um, in educational system in Western schools one day that um, people are, are told that the plate tectonics theory is, is incomplete and needs to be seen in, in a larger framework. So that was the reason I've got Dr James Maxlow over here from Western Australia. He's internationally recognised in this field. Uh, he's part of a, of a huge network of people researching such things. He's here today to show you visually and tell you all the mechanics of why and how our Earth has been expanding and where it's going. Please give James a big, warm Nexus Conference welcome, James Maxlow. Thank you, Duncan, for that glowing introduction, and good morning, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen. I guess my con contribution to this conference today is to um, move away from the metaphysical side of um, science to the more physical science sciences, and this is my speciality, of course, Earth expansion. My background is that <coughs> I'm a geologist, and I've been working in the mining industry for all of my working career mainly looking for that dumb yellow metal, as we all seem to, to want and admire. Um, I currently operate through Torella Consultants, uh, my own company in um, Perth, um, Torella Consultants. And I guess my interest in uh, Earth expansion stems from about 1980, when I came across a little book by the late Professor Sam Warren Carey, who's the father of, uh, considered the father of Earth expansion. Uh, I later met him in Perth at a conference in University of WA in 1988 and then I uh, was so inspired that I um, uh, commenced a, a master's research at Curtin University in Perth in the uh, early 90s and then <coughs> moved on to a, a PhD study in the late 90s uh, culminating in this, um, what I'm about to show you today. Uh, it also culminates in <coughs> a publication of my book Terra non firma Earth, plate tectonics is a myth. Uh, what I'll be going through today is to just give you a rundown on what evidence, what evidence is there to suggest that the Earth is expanding. Um, <coughs> as Duncan alluded to, we're stereotyped into thinking that plate tectonics is the answer to all things global and uh, this is to the detriment of these alternative theories that um, have been around for quite some time uh, and also other theories as well as this one. Um, and I guess um, that also leads us on to the, the ultimate question is what causes the Earth to expand? And um, unfortunately, human nature decrees that we must understand the cause of things before we understand the, the, the physical side of things or want to comprehend the physical side of things. I'm going to leave that question until right at the very end and I and ask you just to simply dwell on the, not consider how these things happen, just look at the coincidences that I'm, uh, of this uh, uh, reconstructions that I'll be showing you and see how they fit in and see if you agree with me that yes, the Earth is expanding. Mm -hmm. The concept of Earth expansion has been known about for in excess of 70 years now. Um, Otto Hilgenberg from um, Germany was the first person to make uh, small Earth models and um, he recognised that if you take the, take the area of each of the oceans away and just leave the continents, each of those continents can fit together like a, spher a spherical jigsaw puzzle at around about 55% of the present Earth radius. Being early 1930s, of course, um, both his, his ideas and his little book called The, the Expanding the Earth were neglected and unfortunately it lay dormant for quite some time. The next major contribution was Klaus Vogel from East Germany in 1979-1980. Uh, he again made a number of models, small earth models, um, about to find the cursor, about to here, about to here on, on my model, somewhere in there. Um, and this represents about say 200 million years of earth history, about 4% of uh, total earth history. Klaus was uh, fortunate that in a um, mapping of the oceans was just starting to become available and he was able to quantify his, uh, his um, models um, using this data and also 
our concept of plate tectonics was fir firmly established in that we now understood that yes, the continents could move around the Earth. Uh, in, in, in Hilgenberg's days it was considered the Earth was fixed, all the continents were fixed. And I'll just digress slightly. Um, in Hilgenberg's day, in fact, right up until maybe even present day, a lot of people uh, consider that the continents and ocean crusts are one and the same, and the oceans are simply oceanized content continents. In other words, continental crust covered in water. And this is, as I'll show you, this is just simply not true. Um, <clears throat> my own research uh, comprises a series of 24 models. Uh, only five of them shown here, but we'll get to that later. Uh, 23 from the present day, this one here, back to the beginnings of Earth history, uh, 4,600 million years ago. And then one model also projected to the future, five year, million years into the future. Uh, this research has been, I've been very fortunate, this research coincides with um, modern uh, huge big global data sets in geology, geography, geophysics and so on. Um, and also coincides with um, modern computer technology and software and animations as I'll show you here. My own modelling represents 100% of Earth history and this is the very first time that, <coughs> that um, uh, modelling studies have been projected this far back for any concept. Um, plate tectonics, for instance, only goes back 20% uh, of Earth history and they struggle to get back to 20%. It's not convincing at all. Um, yep, and as I mentioned before, this culminates in publication of my book, as we'll deal with later. 